Renewable energy is replacing fossil sources at an ever faster pace. However, it isn't always plentiful where it's most useful. For instance, solar energy is most abundant in hot and sparsely populated places like deserts, while wind power is most widely available in remote, wide-open rural areas or offshore. However, the densely populated cities and towns need this energy the most. We need solutions to close the gap between supply and demand of renewable energy. power to x can do exactly that. power to x refers to the conversion of renewable energy, or power, to various types of energy carriers, or x. This is how it works. Using renewable electricity, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen in a process called electrolysis. The green hydrogen can be used in various industrial processes or as a fuel. However, as an energy carrier, hydrogen can be challenging to store and transport because it requires either very low temperatures or very high pressure. This is where the X comes into play. The green hydrogen can be combined with CO2 captured directly from the air or from industrial emissions sources to produce other renewable products, such as chemicals and polymers, renewable gases like e-methane, or even synthetic liquid fuels also known as e-fuels, which can be used in already existing vehicles in aviation or to heat our homes. The development of power to x will take some time, but it is key to the adoption of renewable energy. By using industrial CO2 emissions as a raw material, power to x can help to make carbon capture economically feasible. And by converting renewable electricity into more portable energy carriers, power to x makes carbon neutral energy available whenever and wherever it is required. Change runs on renewables.